Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Agrarian Skies. Hello. Oh, man, I am feeling... I am very happy to be doing this once again, aren't you? Oh, I'm ecstatic. It's yes. been too long. Yes, this is probably the longest gap in between recordings since we began the, um, yep. began the thing. The, the last time we waited this long to actually start doing something, the series never continued. <laughs> Yes, so it is very good that we have decided to uh, bring this back to life. Yeah, I mean, it, it was just a life got in the way type thing. Yes, now, before we uh, talk about what we're going to do today, I just want to give a little plug, if you don't mind. Um, the, uh, the House of Sim Winter Stream is going to be beginning this upcoming Friday, if you're watching this video in it first comes out. It's starting this upcoming Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. I'm going to be playing some Civ 3. And the um, winter stream will be continuing until um, January uh, 4th, I believe, the Sunday after New Year's. So, yeah, come on down to that. And as far as anything Minecraft-related... I think, didn't we say that we wanted to do at least one thing? At least one, if not a couple. Yes. I don't know. How do you do the scheduling for this? Do you have a, do you have a list of the... Well, what I like to do is I like to schedule things two or three days in advance because that way people know when things are going to be a few days ahead of time. Okay. Well, um, maybe. Well, this is nothing for to be published, you know, broadcasted. But you and I then should sit together when we're done with it with this and uh, make sure that we can compare our schedules and stuff and make sure that we can do at least one, if not two, agrarian skies uh, mm -hmm. sessions, yeah. and um, just see how many quests we can get done. Yeah, it would be it would be great to do some stuff uh, live on stream and. Uh try to move this forward. Yep. I mean, we've been stuck on the quest for a while, just because we've been building and doing other things. Yes. And, um, yeah, as far as Minecraft things that don't include this, I'm planning on... Now, see what you think about this idea, Greg. All right. Um, take a sip of coffee first. Um, I am thinking of doing a solo Minecraft stream in a new world where I go back and I play beta... 1.5. The first version Ooh. of Minecraft I ever played. Ooh. There is a bit of a nostalgia value in um, for the House of Sim for this mod pack because the first time that a lot of us met each other and talked to each other for the first time was back in the summer of 2011 when I used to do Minecraft streams. Okay. So this is sort of like going back to the same... Uh, to the same uh, thing that was used at the time. Well, um, uh, that's just going to be a, a single player that thing then. True. Although I think we might be able to um, do some other multiplayer things in other worlds as well. Okay. Well, we're definitely doing this, but mm -hmm. it might be it might be cool to try that out too. Yes. By the way, if anyone out there in the comments has any suggestions or requests, I am willing to uh, listen to them as whether they pertain to Minecraft or anything else that I uh, uh, do or stream, so yeah. Oh man, anyway. I am, at this current moment, working on building the glass ceiling. I am really looking forward to seeing that. Yes, it <clears throat> is. So far, it's just a a block of glass, but it's held in place by a brace, and it's uh, it's going to keep the rain out, and it's going to be uh, well, it's going to be nice because you can stand up here and you can look out on the uh, on the sky. Yep, I'm finishing up or processing. Mm -hmm. So, what's the next major uh, thing to do in this uh, world? Uh, Can well, we have it. We have a crap load of power. It's about time we use it. All those farms out there... Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to do that manually anymore. That needs to be automated. So we are going to be upgrading our uh, farming systems. The farming system has to be updated. 
and along with that also comes um, uh, tree farming. Indeed. Um, and and by the, I think I'm hoping that um, very quickly I'll be able to just get this system so that it can just run whether we're on or not. Uh-huh. And um, so by the time we get cut back on here. We should have so many materials, we don't know what to do with it all. And this is through um, means of uh, chunk loaders and such. Yeah. Oh, Either right. mechanical or the human chunk loader approach. Mm-hmm. That is cool. Yeah. But I want to completely automate um, dirt. Uh, I mean, it's already automated, but I want to get uh, the whole um, dirt creation process to be a lot more efficient and quicker. Mm -hmm. So that needs to be done. Um, That's pretty much it. So that's not a terrible uh, terrible thing. No. Um, And I'm looking for redstone. I know that we have some. I just need to find it. Is your uh, organization all uh, messed up? Um, it's more like I haven't been on here for a while, and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> you no longer remember. It's okay. Yes. Ah! Yeah, silly me. Putting a block when I meant to take one away. I kind of regret... Uh, I kind of regret putting away my other axe. Just because I, uh... I was, uh, you know, the axe I have on now is liable to take out a good portion of the wall. Yeah, <laughs> so, be careful with that. Yeah. What was that Pink Floyd song? Be careful with that axe, Eugene. I probably wouldn't know. I'm a bad person to ask. Yes, yeah, that's early Pink Floyd, back when they were still mainly uh, psychedelic. I need I flight. I think it was Eugene. Is that something that's going to be in the future for us, or? What, psychog- psychogenics, or whatever you said? Well, no. Psychedelics? Flight. Well, I mean, we, I mean like, hell, if you want to, we, we could both drop acid and, and play Agrarian Skies. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, remember that, remember that time we, we dropped acid and then we, um, you know, ran naked through the streets of uh, Baltimore? No, not really. Well, of course you don't remember. You, I think you suffered per- permanent mind damage that day. Possibly. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I don't remember. I, like, I don't even know what we were doing in Baltimore. Like, last I remember, we were, you know, we we approached this this guy approached us in Allentown and said, "Want to buy some acid?" And uh, it looked it looked pretty legit, so we bought it. And next thing you know. I was in the police station of the Baltimore Police Department, and they were questioning me. But I somehow managed to talk my way out of being uh, of jail. I uh, I don't remember that too well either, to be honest. You know. You do know that this is completely crazy. It was crazy, man. Like I remember sitting there, <laughs> and I was seeing. I remember like the top of the police station was like moving, and. I thought a bunch of giants were playing Jenga, and at any moment, the entire police station was going to fall around around me, and I was trying to warn the police officers, because I didn't want them to get hurt in the collapse, but they weren't listening to me, and I was getting really agitated, and, um, and then I remember they, and then I tried to get up, but then they tased me, and I slipped, and I fell, and I hit my head. And the next thing I knew, I was at home in bed, and I felt pretty normal. So you have one hell of an imagination there. It was, it was quite the day. Yeah. Speaking of things, where is this, this clear glass? We may be out of it. I don't know. Uh, if we're out of it, I'm gonna smack you. Well, I'm working on it. How do you make clear glass anyway? Throw some sand or dirt into a smeltery, and uh, they're kind of all the way over here. 
I don't think I have one upstairs anymore. I took that out a while ago because no, I thought this. There's not through here. All right, yeah, then just throw it in there. All right, how do I throw it in again? Carefully. Or I just place it. Or, oh, no, it's wood. You put it into the controller, the thing that looks like it's on fire. Okay, where is it? Oh, that's downstairs, isn't it? All the way down. Down, down, down. Hello. Hello. I see that. Sam's over there. Oh, yeah, where am I going? The underbelly. It's kind of cool to see on the underbelly of our of our world and seeing. Yeah, it is kind of nice. Let's see. Is that sand? One, two, three, four, five, six stacks. I think should be enough. Now I'm trying to think of what doesn't mix. What doesn't mix? I'm pretty sure it's fine to have silver and iron together. Man, speaking of stupid stories, I can t I can tell you about like I can tell you about like a dream I had last night. Okay. Why am I going all the way upstairs with my sand? Uh, God damn it. But um, in this dream, like I was an apprentice to like a mobster. Uh oh. But it, but it wasn't like a like a he didn't feel like a real mobster. He seemed like one of those Snarky fake TV show mobsters. Okay. And uh, okay, I'm putting his hand in the smelter. Is that am I doing it right? Yeah. Isn't it? It's just sitting there. I guess I'm gonna break the sand now. Uh, okay. What's going? What's it doing? I'm so confused. All right, I'm coming. I broke the sand, then it reappeared in a different configuration. You broke the sand. Oh, oh, uh, you're not putting into the... Are you actually placing it inside? Yeah, am I not supposed to? No, you're supposed... Well, I think you can. You can, but um, you're... it's better if you just put it into here. Over Where's here. The control thing? Over here. Right here. It's the thing that looks like it's on fire here. Oh, look, it's going. Yeah. You can put it in manually, but you'd, it's easier just to use the controller. Yep, I dropped my sand. Okay. But yeah, anyway, I was the apprentice of this mobster. And he, you know, he was like this TV. It was like if George Clooney played a mobster or something like that. <laughs> Didn't he already? <laughs> he, he probably did. But he was well, doing. He was, like, you doing could, all these silly pranks on me and all these stupid things, like, all these, like, oh, you're not ready type things yet, you know? Hmm. And I was trying to prove my, prove my word that that's a true mobster. And then, like, we were high up in the skyscraper in this wide-open area. He feeds me a magic mushroom, puts me on a ledge near the top of the skyscraper, and just says, oh, I'll be back in a few hours. Oh, God. <laughs> and just leaves me to sit there. On this really unstable ledge, and like I sit there and I look down, it's like a hundred stories down or more. And I'm like, well, this is uh, this is nerve wracking. That's intense. And then like slowly the ledge starts to fall a little bit, and I fall past like very, I fall like I see like strange things as I go down. Like I see these two college age girls arguing about a like a project they're working on or something very strange and then finally the platform gives way entirely and I plummet towards the ground although somehow in this uh, circumstance I have time to uh, to think about my uh, it's like well either I'm going to bounce back up by like some bungee or something or I'm going to splat or the I'm going to land in water or something and, like these various things might happen. Wow. So, That's quite the intense dream. And so then when when I was right about ready to hit the ground, like, the scene faded. Like, I was watching a show and I was lying in a bed. Like, oh, I guess I'm okay. All right. So then what do I do? I press the... How do I get the... I, do I do that? 
Man, I have to do this for like a million years to get all the glass I need. I'll find it. I'll, I'll be able to um, get it going again soon enough. Better. All right. So, yeah, and the, and the funny thing was, like, I guess the uh, the mobster guy felt kind of bad because he thought it was like a cruel prank. So what what he did was he hired a whole bunch of people, including a bunch of attractive girls, to come in, and and like this big ensemble of people played the song um, "It Makes No Difference" by the band in like this huge this huge group of people playing that song. Okay. <laughs> and. Um, and, this was, and by the way, if this wasn't weird enough, it was on a house on an airship, by the way, that this was happening. So okay. we're on this house on this airship, and there's this old group of people singing, you know, makes no difference. And, and like, this one hands me a lighter, and I'm sitting there with the lighter, and I'm just, like, really happy, and I'm like, okay, I, I forgive this mobster asshole for, for putting me on that ledge, because <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. <laughs> That's my thought the dream. <laughs> You're kind of crazy. God damn it! Now. <laughs> and then I, and then I wake up, and and then I'm like, that was weird. <laughs> to say the least. Although, in my defense, that's a fucking awesome song. So, so at least there's that. It wasn't. It wasn't a, like a something stupid. It, it would have been even funnier if it was something. I put a torch inside a bin. I put a torch in a bin. I can't get the torch out of the bin. Oh, I just did. Never mind. All right. <laughs> I'm having trouble. I, I keep forgetting, like, right click, left click, right click, blue click, Gene Simmons, Robert Plant, and all the rest. Yeah. Not really sure what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about either, but it's okay. Man, this might be this might be an entire episode of me making clear glass. But you know oh. what? If you if you want something to look good, you have to put in the work. Why is this leaking? I have a leaky. I have a leaky. You have a leaky. I have a leaky. Come on, <laughs> see this? No. Can that happen? I'm on the wrong floor. Oh, there, it's leaking. There's a leak here. I I swear. Come up here and look. I'm coming. There's a there's a leak. And then I just see you urinating. <laughs> Lol. Would be funny, but not, the one in the middle, it's leaking. Do you see this? It's leaking. Must be a visual glitch. Oh, did you fix it? I just hit it again. Must just be a visual glitch. Oh, it's definitely leaking. Hmm. Damn communist. Oh, dude. What? There's six stacks of clear glass right here. Oh, you dick. I told you to look. I assume you didn't. Uh, gonna kick your ass. You can try. Uh, clear glass was there the whole time. Oh, hello, chest. So, I'm going to hit you. I should sleep before I go back up there just because there might be ghouls on the roof. Do you know which mod I really like from the pack that we were playing the other day? The, uh, uh, from Direwolf. Yeah, the Animal Transformation mod. Or yeah. Mod. yeah Morpheus, so those, I think it's called. For those of you who don't know how it works, is once you kill an animal, you absorb its essence. And then you can turn into the animal at will. 
So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. And this goes for hostile mobs too. And you have some of the abilities. Um, like if you're a bat, you have creative flight. So it's really helpful. Now you, you can also fit in one block spaces, which is a really convenient. Yeah, that is awesome. I made myself a bat tree. In all honesty, I believe that's one of the main reasons why the the mod um, mod pack author includes it. Um, <clears throat> like he'll morph into a bat not so that he can fly, um, mm -hmm. but so that he can um, um, get into these tight spaces. Yes. It's also really fun to um, troll your friends by turning into a creeper. Yeah, it works <laughs> as long as the map's not. Um, Holy shit, showing. a creeper! <laughs> Good way to get killed, though. We also found out if you kill each other, you can turn into each other. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That was funny. I forget the exact circumstance. Wasn't I standing on top of a somewhere where you were working and I had like a heart and a half and you yeah, and I, hit me with a frying pan, I think? <laughs> yeah, just accident. Not ac No, it wasn't accidentally. But you I didn't just, know I was so low on health. Exactly. Because one hit should have been fine, but I, I didn't know that you were just so low. Mm -hmm. So, oops. That was really funny. That was, actually. <laughs> I didn't know that would kill you. <laughs> I think I was trying out the rapier, in all honesty. It might have been the rapier. Hey, he said rapier. Uh, uh. Har, har, har. Uh, oh, the, the drama. The drama of trying to get your, clear, get your clear glass. And, does that mean at some point in the past you stood over it for like a really long time doing it? Yep. Uh, well, I appreciate your sacrifice for the greater good. Although you probably mostly did it for the pipes at the time, but yeah. I forget why I did it. Oh man. Yes, I put on that song right now, but this is going on YouTube, so can't really. Uh, don't really want to be come back to a message. You have a copyright strike. Grr. 